Hi. How y'all doing today? I'm Greg, and welcome back to good old RVing. Um, if you don't already know, this channel's all about modifications, add-ons, repairs, servicing. Um, and right now, we're talking about how to keep yourself cool in this terrible heat we're having. And so, today, we're going to go over this RV insulation. All right, one thing at a time, and here we go. First, if I remember right, first on the list, we have the RV pillow, one of these guys. Okay, online I looked all over, and somebody had asked the question, what's the R value of this pillow? And so I, I read the whole thing, and it said the R value of the pillow is a R4. So I'm like, okay, better than nothing, right? And so, R4. I already have two of them, but I needed a third one. And so I said, okay, I'll go ahead and pick this one up, especially for the video, right? But, um, okay, so I got the fella, R4. And so, let's go see how easy it is to install. Let me give it over here, and thank you. So time to go install it. Okay, so as you can see right now, we're in the bathroom and I have the fan going. So first thing I wanna do is take the remote right here and turn off the fan with the remote. That way it also shuts the vent and it doesn't matter if the on off switch on the wall is on or off, it'll stay off. And so you don't have to worry about accidentally turning it on while the pillow's in there. Okay, next, I wanna get my stool. Because this is the bathroom and there's moisture in here, what I thought I would do is leave the plastic on the pillow. So that's what I'm gonna do. And here's a piece of the of the uh, bulk insulation that I got. And it's cut to where it'll just wrap around the edges. And so I'm gonna do this, this, and put it in here like this. Just like that. There we go. And so it, I left the plastic on, like I said, because the moisture in here, I don't want it to get into the pillow. And so there we go. Just like that. Wow, that was just too hard. Okay. Okay. That was too easy, huh? Um, next, we have blackout drapes. Okay. These, right here, I don't know if you can see them. But I'll put a picture up here of blackout drapes. Now on these drapes, it's uh, pretty amazing how much temperature change there is between the drape and the blinds and the window. And I'll uh, show you that in just a second. Okay, next, false stone. I'll put that right up here. I did a video and review on false stone and um, it made a big difference in the kitchen. And I'll show you a temperature difference right now. All right, this first wall is between the refrigerator outside panel and that panel is between there and the dining room. So as you can see, 91. Now this is after I installed the uh, false stone. 
Okay, and then we have bulk insulation. You know, a lot of people use that bubble wrap stuff, but you know what? This is much better. It's uh, more firm, it's solid, it has that foam in between there. And also on this, I was trying to figure out, well, how much is this thin stuff gonna insulate? You know, it just doesn't seem like much. And so, again, somebody had asked the question, or maybe not, maybe it was actually listed on there. I don't remember exactly. But in any case, R8, so with this insulation, this stuff is you know, I custom cut and, and fitted and installed these blocks for my two back windows of the RV. Let's not hesitate. Let me give this to me. All right. Now what do you want me to do with this? Oh yeah, let me go show you what I did. Here we go. Right here I got some uh, plastic, plastic trim from Home Depot. So. And I cut it to where it fit the flat portion. I always do it so the felt side is against the object I want to remove. And then I attach so Velcro to one side of it this. so I can Velcro the other side to the window so seal. Be the top one. Then I'm going to trim off the excess. And so I cut the panels to the proper size, the panels of the insulation. And um, what I'm going to do with these trim pieces, I'm going to glue it to the insulation. So here I have the trimmed out pieces on the ground and I'm measuring in the distance towards the center so I could put them, try to get them centered in the middle of that panel of uh, insulation there. And so I just simply get that glue which I show you at the very end of the video. And then I put the top against the bottom so I can round the edges. Then at this point I flip it over and I I velcro it to the top of the window sill and I trim the bottom to fit. Then I velcro that down to the bottom window sill. Put the drapes back on and we're set. Now here's one I don't know if too many of you know about. What about putting insulation in the back of your pantry? Hmm, absolutely. The insulation will help control the temperature that your dry foods and canned foods are in. And it'll help your foods last longer. Oh, I bet you weren't expecting that one, were you? All of this stuff, you can put it just about anywhere. And so I've used it in my vents, I've used it in the windows, and I've used it inside the kitchen cabinets where the food is supplied insulate the inside of your cabinets to help keep your food fresh longer okay and so now that we're back from that um, we're gonna move right of these guys the just a little laser temperature sensor temperature uh, guide see and just clicks on and you can point at something and it tells you the temperature pretty simple thing and so um, yeah, it's a really good little tool, Harbor Freight, by the way. Really good little tool for uh, wherever you think it may be leaking, just do a temperature check. Check the area you think is leaking, and then check an area that you think may be cooler, and see what the difference is. And then just think to yourself, what can I do to uh, change this, to make it more balanced? Now, of course, there's some things that you're not going to be able to do unless you totally want to rebuild the walls and roof and floor of this RV, you know, but you could do the, the things that are like a home improvement item, you know, like blackout drapes or hardwood floors because hardwood floors help keep cold air in where carpeting helps keep it warm. And so uh, you can do that, drapes. Um, you can do decorative insulation like my false stone, uh, just things like that, you know, things that you have the ability to, to make your place look better at the same time, increase the uh, so, uh, insulation of it. Yeah, that's what I got right now. 
and if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and if you are interested in the false stone um, at the end I'll leave a, a link to a video so you can check it out